If you have missed any AST Space Mobile news recently, don't worry. In this video, we'll recap all the big news stories and stock price action from January. We've trialled a new format for this video, so please drop us a comment to let us know what you think. There were a lot of big news stories in January. Perhaps the most significant was that AST performed the world's first satellite video call. This was done in partnership with Vodafone using the Block 1 Bluebirds that are now in orbit. The call was placed from a remote, mountainous region in Wales, which has no terrestrial coverage. This achievement proves the technology works and that the satellites are performing as hoped. Earlier in the month, ASC got approval to begin testing in the UK and Turkey with Vodafone. This was a crucial milestone, without which this landmark call couldn't have taken place. Speaking of approvals, at the end of the month, AST announced it had been given special temporary authority to operate in the US in partnership with AT&T and Verizon. This means AST is now able to test in the US as well, exactly like it has been doing in the UK, enabling voice, data and video to be provided via satellite to unmodified smartphones. Verizon immediately took advantage of the good news, sharing a press release and a new video featuring astronaut Buzz Aldrin called Conquering Dead Zones with Satellite. This is good PR for AST, even if there was an error in the small print, with Verizon advising users that connectivity would only work with certain phone models and the user would need to be outside with line of sight to a satellite. This is true for SpaceX's Starlink director device service, but not for AST Space Mobiles. Speaking of Starlink's director device service, this is most likely AST's closest future competitor. Starlink has already received approval to operate in the US, albeit at significantly reduced power levels to avoid interference. This is not an issue AST's Bluebirds suffer from. Starlink announced that its service would offer users the ability to download medium resolution images, music and audio podcasts from the current generation of satellites, with their next generation constellation aiming to offer medium resolution video too. Audio and low resolution images require very little data compared to video calling. So in this respect, AST is currently the undisputed market leader in space-based broadband services. In terms of AST's launch partners, there was good news for Blue Origin, who successfully launched New Glenn for the first time. While they didn't achieve a successful landing, reaching orbit on the first attempt is a huge success for the company. And great news for AST, since it will be relying on this rocket a lot in the near future. Just after New Glenn's launch, we posted a video looking at the three rockets that will be taking Bluebirds into space over the next two years. Another of those rockets is the ISRO's launch vehicle Mark III. The exact rocket that will be taking AST's first Block II Bluebird into space is now starting to take shape, with the core liquid stages being shipped to the launch site in January. The upper stage engine has already been cleared for flight, meaning we don't think it'll be long until we get an announcement of the launch date. Speaking of launch dates, if you want to know exactly when we think each of AST's launches will be, check out our launch roadmap video, which we also released in January. Another big news story in January was AST Space Mobile's agreement to access up to 45 MHz of premium, lower mid-band spectrum in the US. This agreement will significantly enhance AST's network in the US by pairing the low band spectrum that it already has access to thanks to its partners AT&T and Verizon with access to a large block of high quality nationwide lower mid band spectrum. This will help AST achieve the peak data speeds of 120 megabits per second, enabling it to offer true 5G broadband in the US. AST has received a $550 million institutional financing commitment, meaning the purchase of this spectrum does not affect the company's immediate cash flow position. The deal also has safeguards in place, so if AST's access is revoked in future, it will be compensated $200 million for this. The final big news item for this month is the private offering AST held of convertible senior notes. This has raised the company 400 million US dollars, meaning AST now has nearly 1 billion in available cash. Yeah, that's billions with a B. This cash will be used to manufacture and launch more Bluebirds, and to fund other key business activities. 
This offering has caused dilution, which means the shares you own have been devalued. That said, this offering required significantly less dilution than the public offering AST performed in January 2024 did. One year ago, AST raised 100 million US dollars by issuing 32 million shares. That offering was done at a price of just $5.75 per share. With this new offering, the effective conversion price was $44.98 per share. This means significantly fewer shares have had to be issued this time around, and AST was able to raise four times the cash. Ultimately, this cash will enable AST to grow the business much faster. So for long-term shareholders, we believe this is a positive move by the company. If you want to learn more about dilution and how it affects the shares you own, don't miss the stock dilution video we released in January, where we use waffles to explain how dilution affects the shares you own. Moving on to the stock price action now. Despite all this news, January saw ASTS close at $20.24 per share, slightly down from where it opened the month at $21.14. The stock climbed as high as $25.18 earlier on in the month, later dropping as low as $17.50 per share, the lowest since August 2024. The day after the announcement of the private offering, the stock dropped significantly, losing around 12% in that day's trading. Overall, we believe the news released this month was overwhelmingly positive for AST Space Mobile, and we don't believe the stock price action has been a fair reflection of the company's recent achievements. As with all our content, this is not financial advice. If you think we missed something from January's AST Space Mobile news refresh, let us know in the comments. To keep up to date next month, you can follow us on X and of course, subscribe here on YouTube.